I actually missed the bus to Crawley, and uh, I'm 30 minutes late, but I got through the gate, I snuck in the gate, followed somebody, and now I'm inside the train. Just touched down in Crawley, or just east of Crawley, probably about two miles away. What am I doing in Crawley, you might ask? Well, I'm here for a taste of League Two football. I've already seen, I've already seen a Premier League game, Tottenham versus Everton, just yesterday. I've already seen a couple of League One fixtures, our team, AFC Wimbledon, and uh, championship game, Fulham versus Peterborough. So I want to get a taste of League Two. Two mid-table sides. Uh, both teams not scoring too many goals, but not conceding too many either. You know, they're there. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if this game will be too entertaining. I think they might cancel each other out. Crawley have a decent dynamic duo up top in uh, Natazan and uh, Nichols. And for Bristol Rovers, you, you have a decent 4-2-3-1 with uh, Nicholson out wide. Uh, Evans in that central attacking mid position. He's come out of nowhere, by the way. He played in the Bundesliga for a couple seasons. Um, didn't really impress too much, but all of a sudden he has eight goals, seven assists. Where did he come from? And then Aaron Collins, the Welsh striker up top, averaged uh, about six goals in the last five seasons in League One. That's not counting uh, that season. He played for Colchester United, only played seven games, no goals. So in fact, his average should be a little bit higher. The bus creases drive west, and in order to get to my Airbnb, I have to go through this little bridge here. And uh, as an urban explorer myself, this is something I like to do. Go through random tunnels and underpasses. I gotta say, from my experience looking out the window from the bus, Crawley seems pretty green to me. A lot of parks, a lot of grass, and despite it being winter... Oh, look at this. Whoa! Penis! But anyway, um, Crawley seems pretty green to me. Despite it being the winter, they have plenty of parks and stuff. Yeah, I like it. It's a combination of basketball and football. Just, you know, the goalposts for football and basketball nets. Ooh, another underpass. Let's go. Every hole is a goal. There's the ground. Looks pretty decent. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty small, pretty quaint, but I don't know. But now this is pretty cool, ain't it? This is a nice touch. A little bit of background history between these two teams. Crawley, I don't believe they've been higher than Football League One. They've had a lot of financial struggles. Uh, Crawley, they actually went into uh, administration a couple of times, notably in 2006 when their owners were undeclared bankrupts and made poor financial decisions. The club almost ceased to exist, really, until uh, a group of local board members or local fans created a board, a trust, and then uh, some investors came around 08 or 09, and uh, they saw an FA Cup run all the way to the fifth or sixth round, and uh, Bristol Rovers have been a seesaw club, up, down, up, down, up, down, fifth tier, fourth tier, fifth tier, fourth tier, third tier, fourth tier, third tier. And uh, they got relegated a couple of times in the past few years. So that also adds to uh, the desire to root for Bristol. Should I just yell out, AFC World off the top of my lungs? That would probably start a riot. I'm not gonna do that. So what I notice is typically with uh, football stadiums, they separate the home and away end. You can't just wiggle on through into the away end if you bought a home ticket and vice versa. But I did it uh, with Fulham versus Peterborough. It was fairly easy. I'm just loving how tight knit this is. Like this is typical lower league football, uh, league two conference. You know, you get a lot of, you get a feeling of closeness to the players and to the, the staff. Well, I don't think there's a way for me to get to the away end, but I'm just gonna sit on the, uh, I'm just gonna sit on the side here so that if I make a comment or two in favor of Bristol Rovers. I won't get shit for it because I know if I were on the home end of Crawley, I'd probably get plenty of stick. So according to Google, it looks to me like Crawley are actually going to be playing a 5-3-2 with uh, an appearance of none other than George Franken, form, uh, former AFC Wimbledon player. They're actually going to be playing Hutchinson and Nat uh, Natazan up top. I think uh, Nichols is uh, currently injured at the moment. And then for uh, Bristol Rovers, it seems like Whelan is going to be on the bench. And then uh, on the front three, you have uh, Harry Anderson. He used to play for um, a few teams in the MLS, actually. Didn't didn't do too well. Uh, you, you also have Elliot Anderson from the Newcastle Academy. And uh, Aaron Collins up top. You have Evans on the left-hand side, who uh, didn't succeed too much in the Bundesliga, but it's been a bit of a pattern with uh, Bristol Rovers players. Pl uh, players coming out of nowhere. You got uh, Collins up top, who all of a sudden just scoring goals. You got Evans all of a sudden scoring goals and assisting. And um, like I said before, Harry Anderson, who didn't really do too well in the MLS, and now he's banging. Uh, so it's going to be a tough ass, certainly, for Crawley. Oh, I forgot to mention Kwesi Apaya is also on the bench for Crawley. So you got two former AFC Wilman players, George Frankham starting and Kwesi Apaya actually on the bench. I've never felt so, so good. 
Sweet Caroline, British classic. Why are the numbers so hard to read for Bristol Rovers? It was the same thing with Wigan. How am I gonna be able to know? Okay, I gotta recognize him by face. Okay, so that's Ashley Collins. You gotta watch out for him. Long ball over the top, and I think that was Anderton that failed to control it on the first touch. And uh, unfortunately, the leading goal scorer of this current starting lineup, uh, Nadezen, blasted it over the bar. Oh, Elliot Anderson. Oh. Oh. Finley just hooping it up. Oh, George Frankham, former AFC, former AFC Wimbledon player. Not as in. Oh, shit. George Frankham, former AFC Wimbledon player. It's a good ball to the top there to not as in. Not as in, you'd, you'd favor him to finish that one. Russell Rovers' back line is kind of struggling to deal with the balls over the top, whether it's miscontrol or just losing track of it. Nobody's challenging him yet. Oh, Hutchinson, he's a quick one. Oh, Connolly again. Looking a little shaky there. Will Ferry coming up from the outside back position. Yeah, that's a foul. Oh. Uh, Scottish. Uh, Scottish player, actually. Oh, that's, that's good in by Franco. Challenge there from 18. Oh, there he is, Aaron Collins. Oh, yet another miscue from Ferry there. Elliot Anderson, you don't want him to be in front of goal, but decent stop there by the keeper. Oh. oh, was that Finley who did the back heel? That was fantastic. Okay, here we go. Oh, not as in. Oh. Fantastic save for the keeper there, making himself big. I'm a keeper myself. I used to be at least, so I can respect saves like that. Oh, advantage. That was a really good ball, actually. End-to-end oh. -end stuff. Here we go. Oh! What a game of football this is. End-to-end -end stuff, man. Don't know what that was. Yeah, that's a foul. That's a foul. Oh! fine line there he was hanging on a little bit it's lucky that elliot anderson didn't go down easy okay i thought i heard pisser tyler okay Hesson Thaler, i get it. okay so tunnel cliff is coming off tunnel cliff is coming off for uh crawley as he did pick up a bit of a knock oh god wow. oh heavens oh this is brilliant stuff Almost an own goal there from, I think that was Connolly. Oh. 
So that was a pretty good touch there from Collins, but thankfully the defender for Crawley. And he's made the turn. He's Anderson. Bristol Rovers' back line looks really suspect this game, actually. For only conceding 41 goals, I mean... Nothing on that. Oh, pain. Not as in. Oh. Wow. Almost an own goal there from, uh, I think that's Taylor. Wow. End to end. Again. Half time. Bristol Rovers won. Half time. Crawley nil. Bristol Rovers won, and that was a, actually a pretty exciting half of football to watch. Uh, both teams had their chances, really. Uh, from Crawley, it was just defensive lapses from uh, Bristol Rovers a couple of times. Nadison was played in through defensive errors. And on the other end, Bristol Rovers didn't have as many clear-cut chances, but they took a good one with Elliot Anderson. Oh, shit. Kwesi Apaya coming on for Hutchinson. Kwesi Apaya. It just feels surreal. Crazy Apaya and George Franco are literally on the pitch right now. Crazy. No, I, I know I shouldn't be rooting. I, I know I shouldn't be supporting Crawley, but... Crazy Apaya, not a Wimbledon legend, but... Close. Of course, Franco was involved in the promotion from League 2 to League 1, and he... That was his best season with AFC Wimbledon, so... No, there's nothing on that. Nothing on that. A single fan of Crawley Town went... Ah! Oh wow, this is great football here from Bristol Rovers. Back post maybe for Evans is that? Oh. oh. Good hold up there by Quasi Appia. Appia's already touched the ball probably four or five times this half. Oh, that's a good through ball. Oh diving header by Appia. Holy Quizzy Appia is doing a hell of a job right now, pulling the ball up. Oh. Appia again, man. Oh. always feels like there's going to be a chance at either end at any given moment. Oh. Oh, we might be off. No. Well in there by Lynch. That could have easily led to an opportunity there. You know that uh, Harry Anderson could take one of those chances. He averages, I think, six or seven goals in the last four or five seasons. Oh. Is there a Bristol Rovers? Oh, that's a foul, yeah. Bristol Rovers fan up there. I heard, oh, I don't know, maybe it's just a love for football. Oh, the hold up play again. Oh, that's a foul. Advantage played. There's Hool. Crawley just cannot contain Aaron Collins. As soon as he plays the hold up, just a quick first time pass over to, uh, to somebody on the other end. Fucking AFC Wimbledon take notes. Every time they get it up to Cosgrove, nobody's there. 
nobody's there to support him, so. That was a bit hopeful. Good challenge there by uh, Lynch. Yeah, it's enough for Phil. Oh. No. Nothing on that. Nothing. Oh! Just threw it out really quickly. There, uh, Crawley were too busy complaining about the penalty. That happens. Just got to play on. He's not, oh, I thought he was going to take it himself. That's a good ball, actually. Wow. The uh, outside back, cool. He had to get that right. That was actually really good. I didn't think he would play that ball, because if he did like, play it on the ground, it probably would have been intercepted, but he played it over. That's a good finish there, too. Wow. Is that Will Ferry on the other side? I can't tell. Oh, here we go. Tyler closing down pretty well. That could have easily been a shot there. Man, Collins is all over the place. He's a striker, but sometimes he just hooks really far out and just plays as a makeshift winger at times. Uh, that was a poor touch, though, of course. That was clean. Yeah, that was clean. Oh. 